feel to be free? Can you tell us what the past week has been like? Hi, welcome back to Hot Topics TV. You already know if the topic is hot, we are on it. This one is hot. Jussie Smollett's whole thing just heated up and overboiled. Look, Jussie right now must be leaning more towards the black side of him than the white side of him. I think he's biracial, right? Jussie right now must be singing some old Negro spirituals. He must be talking about some, ain't no jail can hold my body down. Because he walked right up out of that jail. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Now, Jesse Smollett was released from Cook County Jail on Wednesday after an appeal court agreed with his lawyers that he should be released pending the appeal of his conviction for lying to the police about a racist and homophobic attack. Remember, Jesse said, they put a noose around my neck. The ruling came after a Cook County judge sentenced Jesse last week to immediately start serving 150 days in the Cook County Jail. Cook County Jail, by the way, has a reputation throughout this whole pandemic thing for a huge outbreak of coronavirus among its inmates. But we're not talking about that right now. So the judge said, today, Jesse, you start serving your 150 days immediately. He was convicted on five felony counts of disorderly conduct for lying to the police. Appeals court judges said that Jesse Smollett could be released after signing a personal reconnaissance bond of $150,000, which means that he did not have to pay up any money. He just had to agree to their stipulations, rather. You come to court on this day, you come to court on that day, you go see this person, you go see that person. He said, all right, we'll do that. The 39-year-old walked out of the jail shortly after 8 p.m., past a whole bunch of media people that were gathered there and he was accompanied by proper security team and two of his siblings he did not say a word at this point if i was jesse i would not have said a word either his defense team lauded applauded the appellate courts and they said yes this shows you that the appellate courts believes that this case is hogwash bullshit. Nah, they didn't say those words, but did not say where he would go or what he would do while they continue to work on his appeal. He's Jesse Smollett, man. He's going to a secret location where he can get his head together. It was not known if Jesse would have to stay in Cook County or Chicago. Previously, the judge said during his post-jail probationary period, this is after he did his time, that he didn't have to stay. He would be allowed to leave the state and check in with his probation officer remotely. You know, like how people work remotely. You work at Walmart, but you've been working from home because you work at Walmart corporate branch and all you do is answer phones and take orders and give orders and whatever. So you're able to do that from home. So you're at home in your underwears, your boxers, and you just put on a business shirt and a tie and you go sit at the computer so they see you from the waist up. That kind of check-in is what he would have to do with his probation officer. So he didn't have to stay in one location the judge actually said at his sentencing i understand that you might have to travel for work given the kind of work that you do he films right he acts he is in films and remote locations where he has to travel to go play his part on set the judge said i'm not going to stop your bag any further smollett's family no doubt is relieved you could see it his brother is an outspoken mouthpiece and a champion for him and a true sign of what a brother is and should be my brother's keeper now whether you believe he should be in jail or not that's a whole other story i'm just talking about the way how his brother went out for his brother it's unbearable for family members to see loved ones go through this just to let him get out of that situation i'm grateful to god for it says his brother jojo smollett spent six nights in jail in that time, his attorney said that he did not eat anything. 
Jussie drank water for six days straight. Jussie drank water for six days straight. No juice, no fruits, no nothing. Water for six days straight. That might have been the reason why they started keeping a closer eye on him and started saying he looked like he might want to harm himself, right? A person who's thinking about harming themselves, not thinking about nutrition. They're not thinking about, damn, I'm hungry, I need something to eat. They are preoccupied with the thought of harming themselves. So not saying that that's what Jesse was feeling or maybe he was just doing a hunger strike like Mahatma Gandhi. I don't know. But it worked. His attorney said that the actor broke down when they gave him the news that he'd be free. He just started crying. He pushed his hands on the glass and he was, his eyes got teary. And I've never seen him like that because he's been very strong throughout all this. I nearly lost hope in our constitutional system, says his lawyer. Smollett's attorneys had argued that he would have completed the sentence by the time the appeal process was completed and that Smollett could be in danger of physical harm if he remained locked up in the Cook County Jail. Also, they cited that underlined health issues made him more susceptible to the COVID virus that is still very much out there and alive. If you don't think I'm, t I'm, I'm, I'm joking or if you don't think it's real, China is going back into lockdown right now. China. So COVID is very much still out here. Now, Smollett was sentenced to 30 months probation for lying to the police about staging a hate crime attack against himself in Chicago with the first 150 days of his sentence to be done in Cook County Jail. He was released after less than a week. I think we're here because an appellate court realized that it was, this was the right thing to do. And I hope that everyone realizes that the prosecution that went in on this was absurd, said Shea Allen, his attorney. The court's decision marks the latest chapter in a strange story that began in January of 2019 when Jussie, who is black and is also gay, reported to Chicago police that he was the victim of a racist and homophobic attack by two men who were wearing masks. The manhunt for the attackers soon turned into an investigation of Smollett himself and his arrest on charges that he had orchestrated the attack and had lied to the police about it. Now, here's the thing. Honestly speaking, if a white gay man went to the police and said, hey, see my face? I've been beaten. I heard them calling me faggot or whatever else derogatory names while they were pummeling me on the side of the road. I don't think they would look at him, but they immediately looked at Jussie Smollett and said, hmm, I wonder if now, hey, guess what? Their assumption turned out to be right. So maybe I'm just putting my foot in my mouth at this point. The investigation revealed that Smollett had actually paid two men he knew from work on the TV show Empire to stage the attack. Damn it, man. And I missed Jesse when he got off of Empire because when he got off of Empire, the whole show changed. This brother is super talented. Outside of what he just did and the trouble he got himself in, watching him on screen as a actor, he brought a certain energy to empire that made you want to see what the hell was going to happen next or what was happening in Jussie's world on empire. I'm not the one to sit and watch the gay scenes. I'm a heterosexual male. I'm not fascinated, nor do I want to see, uh, same sex interaction as far as intimacy on screen. So I would normally skip through those parts, but I have nothing against the LGBT community and those who choose to live their life a certain way. Um, it's just not a, a turn on a thing for me, right? Just the same way how if I'm watching something and out of the blue, there's a sex scene and my children are in the room, I stop it and I ask them to leave the room or I go watch it in another room if I really want to watch it. So neither here nor there, but he was great on Empire. And if you don't believe me, go pull up Empire series where Jesse Smollett is 
I'm pretty sure they're probably even trending right now and Empire is getting more views than it has ever done because of what Jussie is in. That's just how the media works. That's just how things go nowadays. Judge Lynn sentenced him to 150 days and with good behavior, he could have been out in 75 days. His attorneys argued by the time that appeal had went through, his whole sentence would have been completed so there wouldn't have been any need for an appeal, which would have been an injustice to him, right? The appellate court took the time, analyzed it. ABC7's legal analyst, Gil Soffer, says it will consider the brief that submitted to it and will make a judgment about two things. One should be to reverse the conviction, and two should be even if the conviction stands, was the sentence appropriate? I've said it before, I'm going to say it again. They could have gave this man a fine, a huge fine financially, hurt him in the pockets, and also put him on some community service hours. Use him in the community and leave it at that. No one was hurt in this whole thing. Jesse planned, Jesse planned this with his people. They punched him. He was the only person that got hurt. The only damage done here was time on the clock from people who are paid by taxpayers money so what you do is you take his time back that is justice right and you hit him in the pocket where it hurts for all those overtime and all those people detectives whoever had to investigate his false claims you put that money back into the system and that's it smollett maintained his innocence though during the trial during sentencing, he shouted to the judge that I'm innocent, warning the judge that I'm not suicidal. And if anything happens to me back there, just know that I did not do it to myself. And y'all need to know that they were also getting uh, threats on social media from people who claimed that they were in the count in that same jail. And they had people who were still in there that are waiting on Jesse. One of the mails that I saw as in email or written words said something about ramming something up his ass and twisting it and making it really hurt or whatever. So Jesse was paranoid. You know, he's not from the streets. He's not the type that would be like, bring it. What? Let's get down. We fighting. He's not that type of a person. And you can obviously see that he is 100 percent Hollywood. Cook County Judge James Lynn also ordered that he paid $120,000 in restitution to the city of Chicago and an additional $25,000 fine. Moments after learning that he was heading straight to jail, he started shouting out, I am not suicidal. I am not suicidal. He also said, if I was guilty, I would have said so a long time ago. Well, guess what, Jesse? You were guilty. You were guilty of lying. You made this whole shit up. Okay, and it got you in a whole bunch of trouble. And now, thank God, you got out of doing 150 days. Let's hope when they, when the appellate court is finished revising this appeal, that it comes down to a hefty financial fine and some community service. That's about it. That's justice right there. If not, and they decide to still be unfair, then the next time you find your ass in there, you will not be walking out like that. And if you feel like you're not going to eat for the entire time that you're in there, then I guess you will be, what, starving yourself for 150 days. Don't do it again, Jesse. Don't do it again. Leave your comments in the comment section below. His brother said, I watched my brother go from being a complete victim, which he still is. He was attacked and he is now going to jail for being attacked. This is what Jacquees Smollett said. Just his younger brother. He is a survivor and he has been completely mistreated. This has to stop. Oh man. I've never seen in my entire career, his attorney said, and none of the other attorneys have ever seen a situation in which a class four felony gets the same treatment as a violent offense. After a long investigation and years in court, Jesse Smollett was convicted of five of the six counts of the disorderly conduct for lying to police, and he faced a maximum sentence of three years in prison for all counts. 
These are very, very low level crimes. And it would be extraordinary in a normal case for any person with no meaningful criminal history to actually face jail time in this situation. But this is not the normal case, okay? This has a Hollywood star in it and they chose to make an example out of him. Listen to what I just said to you. This, listen to this. None of these attorneys has ever seen where a class four felony gets treated like a violent crime. That was the mistake on the path of the justice system because straight across the board, they've let people off without jail time for the same thing that Jesse did multiple times before. Jesse was the first one to actually go get some jail time for it. Whether you like what he did or not, the laws are the laws on the books. If this is what you send people to prison for, then send him to prison. If no one else goes to prison for this, you can't send him to prison for this now and try to make an example of him. And that is where they draw the line. And I agree. Leave your comments in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about this one and I'll catch you on the next video. It's Hot Topics TV and you already know if the topic is hot, we're on it. Hit that subscribe button. I'm out. Peace.